Okay, hey, uh, Taurus, this is going to be a general reading. Taurus, I'm not going to make this long. I'm probably going to try to keep this under five minutes. Uh, Taurus, or ten minutes. Uh, Taurus, I'm getting like, uh, there is somebody that uh, maybe you were dealing with a masculine energy and this individual would kind of like, I'm getting this individual would try to treat you or treat you like an option. Now you're ignoring this individual or you're just, it's not necessarily that you're ignoring this person. You just want to really move on with your life and meet somebody that's for you. And I'm getting whoever this uh, masculine energy is, he's shocked, but he's chasing you. And he feels, I don't know, he feels some type of way. I'm getting this man could legit feel some type of way about being interested in you or something like that. Give me just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I'm getting whoever this man is, he feels some type of way about being interested. This is crazy. Yeah, it's like you're no longer chasing this man or you're minding your business. He's trying to figure out like, okay, he's trying to figure out why you're not chasing him. He's trying to figure out, this is crazy to me here, Taurus, so I'm probably not going to make this very long, but yeah, it's because you're focusing on yourself, like, he's like, where Taurus go? Why Taurus ain't chasing me? Uh, Taurus is over this whole situation, and this man could be shocked here, that's what I'm getting at, you're minding your business, he also trying to figure out if you're dealing with somebody or something like that, but you're not, yeah, this man is in love with you, I'm telling you, you're focusing on yourself you're healing uh self-love self-care and this man is in love with you and it's like i don't know he's not used to it yeah like you're focused on connecting to the divine here and this man is like he's not used to you know yeah this is you it's like you're really just focusing on yourself whoever you are you stop chasing this man it's like you're not out here pining for this man's love or attention or whatever it is. Like, you really don't care. You're over it. You're over this whole situation. I'm really getting this man is shocked. He's shocked. It's like you're focusing on your connection with the divine. Uh, you could be doing a lot of shadow work here as well, or you're healing and you're moving forward. Yeah, everything is divinely connected. It's just like you're po uh, focusing on your connection to the divine. You're not worried about this man, chasing this man, trying to prove your worth and your value to this man. Like, you ain't worried about none of that. If this man don't see your light, you ain't. it ain't your job to get this man to see your light or see your worth or see your value. But he's really shocked that you are not chasing him and he could feel some type of way. And he's upset because he finds this, like, he feels like, I don't know, he's attracted to you. He wants you. He wants to connect with you. It's really like he's missing you and he's upset that he's missing you. I'm not getting this like he doesn't like you. I'm getting this like he's not used to feeling this way about you or something. I don't know because you was the chaser here in the past. And this man is like, he wants to invest in you. Yeah, he's up in his head. He's like, okay, Taurus got me thinking about him or her a lot. Like, what's going on? Why am I thinking about Taurus so much? It's because Taurus is not chasing you. Yeah, this man, I don't know. He wants to communicate with you, but he's apprehensive here, Taurus. You got somebody that's, for some, this is a masculine energy, or it could be a feminine. I don't, I'm really getting this is a masculine energy. Uh, and he's uh, one to pursue a feminine energy here, but he's like, I don't know. He's going to reach out to you. He's going to tell you that he misses you. Or something like that. Like this man's going to reach out to you and tell you that he misses you. I'm really getting this man could be afraid that you're going to like reject him or something. I don't know. Yep. So he's going to reach out. He might not even. It's like he misses you, but he's going to reach out and try to communicate with you in regards to like something totally different. So somebody's going to reach out to you to communicate with you, but it's really because this individual misses you, but somebody's going to try to make it seem like it's something kind of just like, you know, not really serious. Like, oh yeah, I was just trying to see if you did that thing or if you did this or if you did that, you know, what happened with this or what happened? It's like somebody's going to try to reach out to you, but try to make it seem like, you know, it's for some real simple. Yep. Try to make it seem like it's some for it's for something real simple. That's what I'm getting here. Uh yeah. I don't know, but he really trying to get in your energy. It's his way of telling you that he misses you without telling you that he misses you. That's what I'm getting. So this man, he's watching you online. Uh if you're on any type of platform, he's watching your social media, he's watching or maybe you don't even post on social media, but 
this man wants to just see you. So if you're on anything, like he could be, I don't know, he just misses you. And he's going to reach out to you, but it's going to be for some really simple. That's what I'm getting. He may ask you if you want to go somewhere, if you want to do something here as well, just to get close to you or something. Yep, I don't know. He feels like you got options or he feels like that's why you're not chasing him because you're dealing with somebody else. And he's like, oh no, Taurus is dealing with somebody else. So Taurus got all these other options or somebody else wants to invest in Taurus. Yeah, he thinks that somebody else wants to invest in you here. That's why you're holding back from him. Um, I don't know. But really, you could just be single and, and you're minding your business. You're not dealing with anybody. But this man wants to know if you're dealing with somebody or if you're seeing somebody. And you're not, you're not seeing anybody here, Taurus. That's what I'm getting. Yep. He wants to give to you. This is what, like, he wants to, I don't know. This man don't want you to be the one that got away. Yeah, Scorpio could be significant. Cancer, Leo. Leo is here twice. Cancer, Cancer is here twice. And Sagittarius. Yep. Uh, whoever he is, he, he wants to connect with you. That's what I'm getting. He sees you as somebody that's very loving, very compassionate. He sees you as a good person here. He admires you. Yeah. He also admires, I don't know, the fact that you're spiritual. Also, the fact that you are, like, putting this energy into yourself because you could have been overgiving to him in the past or, you know, overextending yourself to him in the past, and now you're no longer doing that. Yeah, we have let go and enjoy. Yeah, we have be patient. And we have, wow, be true to yourself. Yeah, this man is one to invest in you. Be true to yourself was on the bottom of the deck. Um, For some... You know, this could be somebody that never really, like, this person always had love for you, but somebody never really appreciated you. And this person may feel bad for that here as well. So he's going to want to come in and invest in you and show you that he cares or something like that here. He wants to come in and be open or, yeah, I don't know. Okay, what else here? Yep, go with the flow. And we have admit your vulnerabilities. This is this man feeling vulnerable. He wow. Um wow. Okay. He feels like you got him vulnerable. Or you got him in a like a his heart space is open for you here, Taurus. And he's in love with you and he's realizing that. He's like, I don't know. This man is in love with you. He's gonna reach out to you and communicate with you, but it's gonna be something simple. That's what I'm getting, but really this man is in love with you and he thinks that you're like not talking to him because you're dealing with somebody else or like he's going to miss out on communicating with you or connecting with you or something like that, but really you're just focusing on yourself, but he's going to come in and tell you that he loves, like he's going to come in, wow, come in and tell you that he loves you. He may come in and say that or may come in and say he has love for you or it may be something like he's going to come in and find any reason to communicate with you. But really it's because you got him feeling vulnerable and his heart space is open towards you, especially with this Queen of Cups here. He's in this energy and he feels like it's like he's never felt this way. Um, I don't know. It's like it got him feeling nervous. It's like this man was afraid to invest in you because he wasn't sure what the outcome of the situation was going to be. So that blocked him from fully investing in you. But now he's going to come in and invest in you or tell you how he feels. Like this man may have never even told you how he feels about you or he would try to like kind of make it seem like, you know, I, I love you, you know, but he never would really tell you that he's in love with you. This man is coming in to tell you that he's in love with you here, Taurus. And it got him a little shook. But I'm going to end it there, Taurus. Best of luck if this is you dealing with this or somebody around you.